Hi Javad is here in this video we are going to learn all of the uh, related tools and situations about wall joints in Revit. This uh, topic is really important if you are working in uh, some project that you need more details and you have different layers for each wall or it is a construction project and you want to have the most detail in your work or it is a design development phase of your work. In this uh, video, as you see on the screen, I've, uh, I've tried to bring a different and simulate different situation that you would may encounter and you will encounter your, uh, in your work. And I want to tell you and show you all of the uh, different uh, tools that you can work with about joins in uh, wall joins in Revit uh, for getting the different results in Revit. For example, the first one is in here. We have two walls with the same tip in here. The first thing that we want to know is when you put it on cursor detail or curse detail, you will see uh, you will see walls like this or you would put it on hidden line, then you will see these walls write this. For example, uh, we have two different types of wall in here, but it has the, uh, it has uh, no lines between them. Maybe you want to see the lines uh, between two different types of walls. For example, in here, we can, we have a setting, a visual setting in properties, which will work only in course more detail in here we have wall joint display when you put it to clear all wall joints it will delete all of the lines between any walls in here uh, this scenario is different i will explain it later in this video so don't worry about that but in here you can see we don't see any lines we have another mode which is clean joints uh, clean same type wall joints it will clean the joints only for the same type of walls. For example, this wall and this wall are in the same type of walls, but this one and this one are not. So it will show you the line between them. This is the first one that you can uh, work with. Let me put it on fine and shaded mode for better understanding. The next uh, part is, for example, in here, or let me create another wall in here in this mode for example you can see these uh, two walls are joined together right now we will display we will uh, this uh, we will express the priorities and layer properties later in this video so stay tuned but in here for example you don't want to uh, see them uh, join you want to make this wall completely separate from this wall to do that when you have created your wall, you can right click on this dot in here and then you can click on disallow join and you will have the wall completely separate from this one. And then you need to drag it from there to here and then you will have this kind of situation in here. So that was the second tip that we can talk about the join part. The next situation uh, is in here. For example, we have a, we can say a cross uh, situation when two uh, different walls with different types will cross each other. For example, you want to have an order in here. To achieve that, you need to go to the modify tab and from here click on join and join these two walls together. But as you can see, uh, this, this uh, yellow, layer and this uh, gray layer or a structural layer they, they will continue in each other but there is a priority in here for example maybe you want the yellow layer to cut the gray uh, layer in here what would you do you need to change the order of the join to do that you need to go to the drop down menu in join part and click on switch join order and switch the join order you will get these two different uh, situation with this simple tool in here the next one that i want to talk about is join uh, or wall type priority to do that is uh, to explain that is for example we have a wall in here in join with this 
or maybe in this part let me create another wall in here or even in here as you can see we have a layer in here that extended to this layer we want to know what's the reason uh, maybe you want to uh, bring this layer only to this white layer uh, and you want to extend it in uh, to here you don't want to extend it in here to know this to know the difference in here let's uh, select this uh, wall in here and let's go to the edit type and let's watch the layers for example we have a core boundary in here which is an important one and in core boundary we have this gray layer or metal stall layer and in the second wall we have another uh, wall with these layers and we have a structure one layer and this is in core boundary layer and this is a metal stall layer too the material is not important but the layer and layer function is really important for example let me uh, let's go back to the first wall in here and let's uh, adjust the layers a little bit. Let me, for example, bring the bring this substance to the core boundaries and let me put it on a structure one. And let's see the results again in here. As you can see, now our structure layer in our second wall are ex is extended to the to this uh, first structure part. So the conclusion is when you do this uh, process and when you creating when you are creating your layers in your walls you need to care about the functions all the time the structure one layer will uh, continue its way to this uh, to uh, reach the structure uh, one layer in the another wall this is the structure one layer or first structure one layer in this wall and this is the a structural layer part in this one. Let's uh, let's uh, create another example and let's bring this, for example, these finishes to core boundary. And let's click on OK. And as you can see, uh, uh, in addition to the uh, structural uh, layer, when you put the layers in core boundaries, it will do the same thing as the structural one. When you want to extend it to the structural part, you can bring other layers to the core boundary to achieve that situation. The last but not least item that we are going to talk about is join function or join tool, as you can see in here, uh, in here, sorry, join a uh, wall join tool in Revit. I am going to talk about that uh, situation in here. Let's create another wall in here and let's bring the structural part of it to the in here let's put it for substrate to bring it back to the same thing that it was and let's create another wall from this end with an angle in here or we can create some uh, uh, we have some other walls in here that we are going to tuck when you select the wall joins uh, wall join uh, tool when you hover over in any uh, join situation, you will have a, a square that you need to select it. For example, for this uh, junction in here, I am going to select the join and then you will see the different uh, method of uh, join. For example, we have bot, meter, a square of and in any of them, we will have different situation. For example, it is uh, on a, you can see the lines in here. We have a bot situation, but it is in the first uh, configuration of this one. Let me put it on meter. As you can see, it is a meter join. And when you put it on a square off, this is in this kind of join. All of them doesn't work well in any situation, but Revit, will, Revit cannot recognize the right one. So you need to adjust it by yourself and manually. For example, let me put it on meter and let's click on next to see the different situation that we can achieve with this one or let me put it on bot and see the different situation that we can get maybe this is not the exact one that you need this is the best uh, thing that we can achieve in here but let's put, uh, let's check it on something else too for example let's uh, let me 
create a some walls like this with this angle and let's go to the wall join function and let's select this one as you can see it is on meter it is on bot and when you change the different part it will change the order of the joint when you put it on meter it will give you this uh, kind of join and sometimes it is it is great for you for example for this one we just have a one configuration we can see a difference between configuration but when you put it a square off you will get this kind of joins in here and you can have different configuration for each of them that was it i hope this video has been helpful for you if it was please don't forget to like this video to reach it to more people and also if you are interested in uh, other uh, revit tips i will put a playlist in here that uh, can think dozens of uh, Revit tips videos you can go there and watch them too and don't forget to subscribe us i will see you on the next session